Ready for this? Yep. Okay, and now for something completely different. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, as you may well know, in the last oh, three or four weeks, I've been absolutely leathering on the project to get it as far as I can forward and then focus on the final little bit of bodywork that I've got to do before that thing is finished hopefully before the summer. So what I thought we'd do today is break with it to step back, take a step out of the project for just a minute and let things settle while I do something else, which I wanted to do for quite a while. So here is something completely different. Okay, hands up who's seen one of these before. If you've got a bike older than five years, maybe six years old, you've probably got something like that under the seat as your emergency toolkit. They're supplied by the manufacturer. Uh, I think Triumph did it right up until about three or four years ago and they don't anymore. Manufacturers don't give us tools anymore because we're not worthy to touch the bike. They don't want us interfering and meddling. They want you to leave them alone and book it in for anything that goes wrong and have a breakdown card. And they even supply you with that when you buy the bike now. <laughs> but back in the day when we were able to deal with their own bikes, these toolkits were the things that you carried under the seat. Now, you often got, as you do with this one, a hilarious collection of all sorts of weird stuff. Quality-wise, they're okay, there's nothing wrong with them, they're, they're, they're just stamped out stuff, but it's the sizes that were great. You get random weird sizes, 19, 24, 22, uh, and a 14 and 17 mil. 14 and 17, I've never seen that combination anywhere else. You get these famous double-ended screwdrivers that don't really do anything and those fabulous little well whatever you call them pliers clippers thingies but those as well and actually they've got a little cutter in them which doesn't even cut cheese I don't think they're, but that's what they are designed to work for your bike for emergencies now obviously if you've got a newer bike you're not even gonna have one of these and I wanted something for my Harley to carry in pannier box to get me out of trouble and also, I wanted one for the XJR. So the XJR Yamaha I've got, this is a Suzuki one, so the sizes don't fit compatible with the Yamaha. I phoned Yamaha and said, can I order one of these? I'm sure they're an item of stock. And she said, the lady in the parts department said, yes, they are an item of stock, not a problem. We can 90 day back order them from Japan and they're 67 pounds. Ouch. Would you believe? I absolutely almost fell over. 67 pounds to buy a factory toolkit for your bike now. Now that made me start thinking. I thought for 67 quid, even if it's available, it's got to be dedicated to the bike. So there's never, Harley have never supplied tools with their bikes. So if you've got a Harley, you're stuck because these are all metric. So if you've got an, a Yamaha or something, even then, I think for 67 quid, you can do better. You truly can. So I never look around. This is what I found. So this is what I've been carrying in the absence of not going to have one of these is a little Oxford motorcycle toolkit. You buy these on eBay, uh, 25 to 27 pounds. They're a little universal toolkit. I think we've all seen them. They're average, they're okay. They've got uh, five little sockets, a few bits, some Allen keys, but all of it is, it's not even up to the usability of one of these because it's not dedicated stuff, but it's there. It will get you out of trouble if that's what you want, but that's all metric and I wanted something Imperial. Also having a Harley, a lot of the fasteners that you undo are Torx and there are uh, two, there we are, no, there are no, there are no Torx bits in that at all, let alone the valuable T27 that you need for a Harley. If you've got a Harley, you'll know all about T27. It's just about everything. It's engine cases, clutch cover, dog, everything. So one of those really wasn't cutting it for the Harley. I wanted something that was better quality, that was more fitting for a bike that I've worked hard to own and a really fabulous bike. I don't want a cheap toolkit under the seat that's not gonna get me home anyway. So we had a little look online and I came up with something that I think is a great answer. It is basically that, but what you might call Rolex quality. Let me show you. All right, so this is what I got. And I think that is the most darling little toolkit I've ever seen. It truly is amazing and somewhat better than anything you might buy from the internet on universal basis. I love that, I really do. It's a quarter drive socket set, you get nine imperial sockets, 3 16 to half inch. I love the way here, these are actually embroidered on into the cloth. That's not just painted on, that's embroidery, that's amazing. All the sockets come on a proper little post so they don't fall all over the place. And something else I noticed is pretty cool. You get a wobbly extension. You know, one of those that goes at an angle. That sort of quality. Now this is, if you know Weira tools, if you've seen Weira tools yourself, you'll know that they are practically the best quality tools out there. They're one of the top tool companies in the world. And other little features certainly are all these bits. 
you've got um, Phillips and Posi drive and Allen heads, you know, just regular Allen keys, and of course, six really handy Torx heads, including T27, that one, which is really important for Harleys because most Harleys have T27 on just about everything. This is just, in my personal opinion, that is the sexiest little ratchet I've ever seen. I love that. It's a quarter drive ratchet, and it also, as well as working in the normal way, like a ratchet, take a socket, as well as working like a little ratchet in the normal manner, also, I love about that, I just love this. <laughs> you can also put on the end of it a bit driver. And so let's take a Torx T27, why not? We pop that in the end, and there you are, T27. But the best, the feature of this that I love the most is if you pull that little handle back, it goes upwards and just becomes a screwdriver. I love that. I love that so much. Just take a close look at that. Check out that ratchet. That really is a thing of beauty. If you're into tools, that, it sets at that angle as well, slightly angled and back to straight, beautiful. And then it just turns like that to go the other way. So tools of this quality, if you've got a bike that, I don't know, you've got a Panigale, like I said, or a GS1250 or a Harley. When did we see a Harley recently at the dealership? 35,000 pounds, a mm -hmm. CVO Harley. You might have a CVO Harley, then this is the kind of quality tools you might want to carry with you. So with that, I think you'll have enough options to do whatever little jobs you might need roadside and at the same time, as well as having tools of the highest possible quality, you've also got effective sizes. You've got your T27, so important. I know I've gone about it a lot, but honestly, if you check out any Harley, you'll find them on about 50% of the fasteners uh, and a standard big extension as well. So if you know your tools, then you'll know that Weira is probably, like I said, one of the best tool companies in the world. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Penny Bitsock. You're welcome. Present. Thank you. This was a birthday present from that. So thank you for that. And I'm happy to carry that in the, in the side pannier box of my Harley. Now there are a couple of issues, and the same with this, uh, that this still has, there is still the issue of no spanners. So for spanners, I've got one of you guys to thank for this. It was a little while ago when I was doing the swing arm bearing video, using the big puller. Um, some of you said, you need some ratchet rings still. And yes, I do. Ratchet rings are amazing, but these particular ones are amazinger <laughs> because they've got four sizes per spanner. Show I'm sure you've seen these. If not, this is what they are. They're by Facom. They're rather amazing quality. They've got four sizes. You get one size either side of the head. So that's a 19, that's an 18. Same on this end, 16 and 17, and then eight, 10, 12, and 13. So in those two spanners, I've got eight spanner sizes, which again really helps with a roadside toolkit or tools you're gonna to carry because they don't take up any room. There we are, eight spanners don't take up any extra room and that will still go in a tool roll. If you've got, you know, like these little leather tool rolls or a tool pouch or anything like that, that'll all go in there easily. Now, obviously these are metric and I elected to get metric. They're quite expensive. Those two were 50 pounds, 49.80. Mm, they Just are. Just under 50 pounds, mm -hmm. quite an expensive investment, but I got them because I know that Facom quality, they are undeniable and they'll last me a lifetime. So they're a good investment. And being metric, I work on far more metric stuff than I do on Harleys and Imperial stuff. So they are gonna be a lot more used and a lot more justifiable at this time. I will get, definitely, I will get some Imperial ones to carry on the Harley in the future when I can afford it. <laughs> 50 <laughs> yeah. quid for two, but that's what it was. If you want quality tools at that quality like these, then that's the cost. It comes at a price the same as this, 14, 98 pound for that. So we're up to 150 quid already to carry on your bike in that lot. So that's not money, but ultimately, if you've got a bike that you think's worth it, the only other thing, that I would put with it. Two more things I reckon would be one of these, my favorite 26-1 screwdriver. Now, as much as you've got six posi bits in there, you haven't got straight bits. And you've got a wider range of Allen head bits here. So that will cover absolutely everything, every single fastener on your bike, right down to, ah, oh, what's that one there? There it is. That's 330 seconds. That is Imperial 330 seconds, uh, which I believe is on your Harley. I think that's one of the little caps on the reservoir cap or something. They're just honestly tiny. And that's the sort of thing one of those does. We are quality. And finally, I reckon to top any toolkit, 
classic pair of pliers. That's it, don't need any more. That is it for me. I carried that, or will carry that, on my Harley, and I think that'll get me out of trouble anytime. I'm gonna stick a link to all of this underneath. The only reason I brought you this, the only reason I'm talking to you about this, is not literally an advert, because we're not giving this away. We aren't doing prize draws anymore. We've drawn a line under that. This is just to show you that that sort of thing is available. I didn't know it was, and I've been riding bikes 35 years, and I've been a mechanic for all of that time as well. I didn't know stuff of that quality, that universal to use on your bike, was available and it is it, it does come at a price like all these things do but then you get the quality as well now there was just one other thing wasn't it Ben? so you've got a very special hello haven't you just to someone who's watching with all these mates yes i have i must say hello to ian up north ian up and yeah <laughs> and all his mates on the north sea offshore construction job wonderful hi guys thanks for watching really appreciate it they're watching the cinema apparently yeah they, they do fantastic thanks guys really appreciate you watching cinema that means a big screen doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. it's got all your makeup well it's got wrinkles <laughs> There we go. Thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate all your feedback and all your kind support. And that goes to everybody. Thank you so much. This was just a little interlude for a Sunday. It's been flat out on the project in the last few weeks and I've still got at least four or five more videos to push before I get this thing looking like I can start on bodywork and start pushing it towards getting ready. I really am determined to get this bike on the road by late spring if I can. And it means a lot of work, it means a lot of dedication. So thank you for all your support, your kind comments and your kind encouragement is driving us forward, ain't it, Ben? It sure is. It sure is. There we are, anything else? Have a great Sunday. Have a great Sunday. Thank you for watching. Link underneath to this, treat yourself, put it on your birthday list if you've got one coming to the people that matter. Right, safe. We'll see you next time.